I'm guessing. Although that would be a good blooper. Yeah, right. Three, two. Cameron, I'm thinking about this this whole high school thing. Now, you were a model, of course, before you were an actress, but I'm just wondering, once you become famous, do you have people that you knew back when you were 14, 15, suddenly calling you up and writing you letters wanting to get reacquainted? You know what, I've, I've actually stayed close friends with or in, in either that or in touch with a lot of people that I grew up with. So we are, we all, it's a little community of friends that we all still talk and everything. Um, but there are, there are a couple of people on the outside of it that I maybe wasn't such good friends with who really are like, you know, now kind of, you know, assuming <laughs> certain privileges with me. Uh, so. Is that kind of amusing to you to see that happen? Um, it's sort of annoying in some sense, in some <laughs> circumstances, but um, for the most part, like all my girlfriends, you know, that I grew up with, everybody's so supportive. In fact, I just ran into a guy uh, two days ago that I grew up from elementary, junior high, high school together, and I haven't seen him since high school. I ran into him in the mall, and it was really great mm -hmm. to see him because I looked at him, and he's an adult, and I saw him as a child. Mm -hmm. The first, right when I looked at him, I was like, mm -hmm. it's Calvin. We, like, I saw him on the kickball field, you know what I mean? I was like, wow, you know, it was great. I want to talk to you about your growing list of credits. You know, the first time we spoke was for The Mask. Mm -hmm. And I hate to say this, but, you know, at that, at that time I really didn't know you. That was your first film. And I thought, oh, yeah, she's very pretty and everything. She does a, you know, a good job in the film. I did not realize what a great actress you were until you. she's the one. And then my best friend's wedding, I just saw what depth you had to your acting. But did you ever sense that some people just thought of you as another pretty face, didn't realize the acting talent that was there? Well, I don't know, I just really, I mean, honestly, I don't try to concern myself with what other people are thinking about my ability. I don't, I don't think I do. I mean, maybe people closer to me can see my neuroses, but I certainly can't. Maybe that's why I've survived. But <laughs> I, uh, I think that I just, I don't really worry about it too much. It's not, I try not to concern myself with, um, you know, uh, you know what other people think or what they have what their expectations are of me because I really don't have any expectations for myself I'm just very happy and fortunate that I get to keep working and I get to try different things and that's something that I'm really thankful for but it's not really something that I I worry about whether or not other people are, are you know condone it or not <laughs> okay. Okay. well we'll turn to the movie now Great scenes, fun scenes for an actress to do. The scene with the go karts. Uh -huh. How big a rush? Oh, that was great because I raced cars before, and so it was the getting in those little cars was like a nice little, you know, rev up kind of like one threw me back into actually wanting to get back on the track. So it was a lot of fun. Now, it must be a, a big ego trip in, in the, your, for your character in the film to to have all these men uh, pursuing you, uh, doing these grand gestures. In real life, what have been some of the grander gestures uh, pursuing men have bestowed upon you? Well, I didn't. I haven't really had any crazy stuff, really, to tell you the truth. But I have to say that that for Mary, it wasn't. She wasn't. She wasn't flattered by it. She was actually very upset about the whole situation <laughs> because she learned that a lot of things that she thought was real and honest were, weren't at all. So it was sort of distra distra you know, kind of destroyed her in a sense. Now a question about your co-stars. Uh, you know, this is the second time I re interviewed Matt Dillon. When I interviewed Matt, Matt, I flashed back when I was a kid watching My Bodyguard and how much he scared me in that movie. Uh, <laughs> you're, uh, your first impressions of him when you met? When I met Matt, um, uh, I thought he was cute, yeah, but that was years ago.